top of the morning, Asia. This is a timely video. Uh, Gary Cohn resigned like an hour or so ago. Let's take a look at what happened when the head of the economic advisory panel, whatever you want to call them, Uh, let's see what let's see the reaction it was straight on risk off so let, let's see where dollar yen stop uh, 47 was low got a three-quarter fib here at 10550 big level this 10525 is really key let's go pop over the daily um, we know there are massive massive barriers like some structured products that will panic on a break of 105 the figure. So there, there's always been, you know, there's been good bids here. Here's a daily chart um, of dollar yen. I'm trying to get this thing. Here it is. So 105.25. So we'll be playing for a 105.25 break. We're looking for these. Uh, these option structures to be taken out at 105 the figure. Let's pop over to um, S&P is just to show you the reaction. The S&Ps have probably overreacted here to the news. We got down at 2690, which is yet to show up on my delayed charts. I'll get that fixed at some point. Um, happens to be the half fib right in here um, but you can see how it uh, let's get to the daily just so you can see the gap so cone resigned we closed up here at 27.25 low today was 27.10 gap lower and went down to 27.90 I don't see why this can't uh, retrace down this 26.66 interesting uh, double number but let's not forget that 666 was a low in the SPX post Lehman or something to that so a couple of things that have come out here is Gary Cohn has resigned so he his tax benefit of being with the you know in the White House for a year takes advantage of that. More importantly, there's talk. So the reason he resigned was because Trump wanted to introduce these tariffs on steel and aluminum. And he basically said that he was going to leave if uh, Donald Trump went through with it. Well, it looks like he's going through with it. More importantly, though, is the Chinese tariffs on imports. Here's the headline. U.S. will be slapping tariffs on a broad range of its imports response to alleged intellectual property theft. This is directly related to China. There's no reason why we should not be revisiting or making new lows for the week. In So the week, this was last... Uh, this is last week's low, Monday, Tuesday. Here's Wednesday. Um, I think you have to be on the offer in S&Ps. But the U.S. is said to consider broad curbs on Chinese imports and takeovers. And that's, you know, even the uh, some of the real estate investment that the Chinese have done in the U.S. All of these things are going to be taxed. So... Going back to Cone, he's resigning, he's done, that's official. This tells me, and Privateer FX, my colleagues, that Trump will indeed go through with the tariffs. So how did the market react in the past couple hours? It's interesting. It's, it, it, I mean, it's literally pure... Um, risk off, even the Australian dollar, which has been strong of late.
is lower. Australian hasn't done anything. Kiwi hasn't done much. Let's go to Aussie N. Aussie N's down a percent in the past hour. Like things are just opening up here in Asia. Um, got Holiday speaking. What's he saying? Give me a second here. Yeah, he's talking crypto. No big deal. So I would be leaning left on cross yen. I really do think that if 105, 25 and dollar yen breaks and 105, the figure breaks, this could go very quickly. So we're buying some downside dollar yen as, as I speak, uh, looking for, you know, kind of the 103 handle in the next week. I'm not sure it's that big a deal that Cohn resigned. I think th there's been rumors of this for a long time. Um, so I don't think it's that big a deal. The market's kind of expecting it. It's dollar China, just trying to get a just trying to get a lay of the land. Dollar Canada stays perky. I still like selling it on this 129 handle. Euro looks like it's going up to take out these highs. Um, no short-term levels that I'm looking at, and this is probably going on long enough. So I will. Um, pass this on to my colleague in Europe and let's see how things play out tonight but uh, definitely watch left hand side yen crosses here's the euro yen down a half percent sterling yen down a half percent Aussie yen down a percent CAD yen down almost a percent I would watch all of these lows these recent lows, and Urion's far away, Zero's been jackass bid, but, and Sterling as well, but I'd watch CAD yen and Urion. We start break, breaking through these lows. Let's get, pop over to weekly real quickly. This is huge support right here in Aussie yen. Huge. Right here. 81.45.50. We have a FIBO at 35. This looks like it's going down to sub 80 cents. And again, that's a weekly. So keep an eye on that, but uh, watch your left-hand side. All the best.